Hello all you beautiful people out there, what is going on? This is your friend Bernie coming at you fast for another Beast Build video and today we're going to be looking at Kalari. Oh my god, Killer Queen Kalari, I love her so much. She is so good in V42. But before we get into that, look at this. Look at this rival skin. No, what? Where the hell's the rival skin? Oh, it's up here. I have so many Kalari skins. Rival Kalari, look at this lore right here. When we were children, we had action figures from a popular science fiction holovid. Kalari's favorite was the blue one. Muriel. <gasps> Muriel time! Alright, let's get into the deck video. So, Kalari, or Killer Queen Kalari, edit. Since day one, legacy. So, with Kalari, it's really interesting. You can build Kalari in so many different ways. You can make her work with death. You can make her work with knowledge. Maybe you can make her work with order, although order is more for tanky heroes. I wouldn't recommend it. But, with this deck, and it works very sexually, we're gonna go with growth and chaos. Growth is going to be for your early game farming up, uh, split pushing stuff, and chaos is going to be for your late game imploding. Kalari can do 1.7k damage easy late game out of stealth. It is ridiculous. Literally two shot carries with that and then just another basic attack or her dagger. So, let's go into these early game cards. So, right off the bat, you're going to go into offlane. This is an offlane deck, not a jungle deck, an offlane deck. I still feel like Kalari should be played offlane just because of her ultimate. She can split push so well and then ult into a team fight and it just be a, a complete nuisance. You know, ult into a team fight, go to the side, go invisible, come in and just nuke the carry in one or two shots. Uh, it'll be insane because almost nobody runs wards nowadays. So, we're going to start off with Coin Master, because this gives, uh, well, first off, we're going to start off with her Vitality Point, and I'll show you guys the gems later, and why we're going to start off with one point in Vitality with her. We're going to spend a thousand gold in that one Vitality Point, and then we're going to go into Coin Master here, and this is good because it increases to 16 bonus gold while out of combat, so you get 16 bonus gold for every 10 seconds, which is good when you're in off lane because, you know, it's better than 8, and you're not fighting, you're just chilling there, letting them destroy the minions, you're staying out of reach, you're trying not to get poked, Try not to get poked. Good supports will, will try and poke you. Just dance around with the support or hit them back because, you know, you can still deal a lot of damage with Kalari. She has a lot of attack speed. Everybody has a lot of attack speed. And she can really mess somebody up if they get up on her grill. So another card that I have here is Demolitionist. This just lets you deal 12 bonus damage to minions and structures, which is good early game because Kalari can get her offlane tower pretty well. Or if you switch, you know, with the carrier uh, and support duo, you can get the other tower pretty quickly. And uh, this helps siege towers, plus also split pushing, sieging mid towers, and just getting those kills on the minions, killing them quicker is always good to have. Plus we want to have a one point into our agility right off the bat anyway, because uh, we have a gem in there. I do believe if I remember correctly, I didn't <laughs> look over my gem since last night. It was a long night, but we'll see later. And then highway man. So this is an interesting High risk, high reward card. It You spend 1,000 gold. It's not really high risk, but you spend 1,000 gold, and every time you deal damage to a hero, you gain 75 gold, and that's a 15-second cooldown. So, you know, it's... <sighs> If you're going to hit heroes for, for the duration for a while, then this could be pretty good. You can poke heroes pretty well, especially in offlane if you're protecting it. You might have your tower destroyed by the time you pick up this card, though. But if you know you just poke the carry a little bit once in a while, uh, you can get some gold back. I don't know. I just like having this card. If it suits your playstyle, have it. If not, you can do something else. Like, for example, Living Guardian. This is a good early game card to have at level 1 as well. You can, you know, have Highway Man instead of Coin Master later on in the game because Coin Master doesn't give you much after the first laning phase. And then you have Living Guardian, which Fortifying Strikes, basic attack, hits grand stack of 2 basic armor for 10 seconds. This is good, again, for focusing carries as Kalari because she's an assassin. She's going to be focusing carries. Give you some resistance early game before you can nuke carries. So you'll be more like a brawler early on in the game. As we move on into mid game, you want to rush into Profiteer. Now, this depends on how good of a Kalari you are. If you're in a very, very reckless Kalari, like the type of Kalari that ults into towers to try and get kills, unless they're absolutely one shot, I, I, I don't like you. I, I think that's very irresponsible. You should be more responsible of your actions. But I like to farm up a lot of Kalari early game, and you're going to need a lot of gold for her late game nuke em, blow em up. Uh, cards so you want to try and get as many cards as you can now this is the high risk and reward card this is you want to get as much gold as you can earn 55 bonus gold for enemy minion kills so you're just going to be chilling there and off lane getting last hits on these minions and combustible card is unequipped on death that's why it's high risk hard reward so 
you know, you spend 2400 you could do the math. I didn't bother doing the math because I don't plan on dying when I have this card. Although, unfortunately, I did end up dying pretty quickly last time I equipped it uh, pretty early. So, it all just take it with a grain of salt and be very, very careful with Kalari. But if you do manage to pull this off, you will be really, really annoying very quickly. Then I have this card, Sand Speeder, which is 3 agility. I like this card. Increase move speed by 8% and get, increases attack speed by 11. And a lot of people don't understand this. So whenever you attack or are attacked, your move speed is reduced by 4% for 15 seconds. This does not mean that you are going to be slower than normal. This only means that that increased move speed doesn't go from, you know, it doesn't go to 8 anymore. It goes from 8 to 4% now. So you're, no matter what, you're always moving faster than usual. So having this move speed out is nice to get back to lane and Instead of wasting your ult, you combo this with your stealth, and you can really easily catch up to people. It's just really, really nice to have this card in, in some situations, so keep that in mind. We have Growth Totem in here just because, why not? You know, it's one of those why not cards. Once you get 9 points, it's free, so you can go ahead and put this card in there. Gain point eight power, 50 max health every minute. Just It's mostly for the power part, though. The health doesn't really matter on Kalari, but the power part is still pretty nice on Growth Totem. Uh, and then as we keep on going, we have Hellfire Engine. So this card you want to have at the very, very end. This is probably going to be the last card you really want to worry about. You want to get your other cards first because this is a combustible card. You gain 100 basic damage, but once you die, you will lose this card. So you have to be very, very, very careful with this card. And Kalari is pretty hard to kill if you're good with Kalari because you just pop in, you know, hit the carry, Hit him with the dagger, usually that's in the back line, and then just backflip out of there, get out of range of enemies, and then go invisible again, and you're safe. Because more often than not, there's not going to be a ward ready to call you out in that invisible form. Uh, so, I mean, there might be some other true vision cards that the enemy might have that you should worry about, but nonetheless, it's really not that hard to die as... Er, <laughs> Well, it's also not hard to die as Kalari if you just run into the tower, am I right? But it's also not that hard to stay alive with Kalari if you know how to play her. So you go down. Speaking of knowing how to play her, I will show you guys gameplay and give you some tips with her as well. Heavy Hitter is the card that you want to be focusing on. This gives you 8 agility, it gives you power, attack speed, and your basic damage is increased by 15%. This is going to give you a big damage spike once you put this card on. So definitely put this card on as quick as you can once you rush that agility. But here's the thing. You don't want to go as quick as you can because you want to get this Thunder Cleaver first. So the way you're going to build Kalari is you're going to put 3 Agility into her. Uh, you, want, you want to put 5 Vitality into her as quick as possible so you can get this Thunder Cleaver so you can farm very, very, very efficiently. You want to get this Profiteer. This is what I do. You get the Profiteer right here as quick as you can. And then the next card you should rush is Thunder Cleaver. You should get enough Vitality for it, and it will give you some lane sustain as well, so you don't have to back too often. Also, agility to give you more attack speed and armor, and you want to get Thunder Cleaver as much as you can. It's literally Thunder Cleaver, power and basic armor, increase cleave damage by 50%, and deal 100% basic damage to nearby enemy units on a 20 second cooldown. The only difference is now it costs mana. It costs 50 mana, so pay attention to that part. So you want to have that for farming, and then you once you start wanting to be an actual assassin, once you're ready, once you're prepared, you're going to go into Heavy Hitter. So those should be like your three cards at this point. Profiteer, Thunder Cleaver, and Heavy Hitter. And then once you start going into, you know, later on, later on, you can keep Profiteer if you want, if you still have it, that is. If you died, then you don't have it anymore. You have a free slot again. And we're going to keep on going. And later on in the game, you will be able to get Death Crawler. This card. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. If you need to rush this card, do it. Because this is probably the best card in the game, I'd say. Honestly, I'm willing to say that. This card is amazing for carries and assassins, and it's just fantastic for anybody trying to deal a lot of damage. Power, basic armor, attack speed is reduced by 65. Now, I know that sounds crazy, but hear it out. Every 8 seconds, your basic attack deals 300% bonus damage. Take the 50% bonus damage you get when you deal damage to somebody out of stealth as Kalari. Take the bonus basic damage you get from heavy hitter and then later on in the game when you have enough coins and you can buy this hellfire engine that gives you another 100 basic damage it is 
stupid. It is stupid. Basic damage is increased by 15%. So once you have that, I don't know if you guys know how percentages work, but 100 basic damage plus the basic, you know, plus the power here and the basic damage is increased by 15%. Oh my god. 1,700 on hit out of stealth. Incredible. So that is definitely a, a card you want. Like I said, you want to go for this 7,000 gold card, this Hellfire Engine last, because you're going to be putting all your attribute points into your agility after you get your Thunder Cleaver. So you can just rush Death Crawler and be super, super, super deadly with this combo. So yeah, so we do have five agility gems, I was correct, but the first thing we're going to slot is one point of vitality, so you can get this healing towers, gain 2.2 health regen and 1.2 mana regen while near structures, this just helps you with survivability, this is like a constant health regen token, pretty much, when in offlane, and you're going to be chilling under tower quite often anyway, so this should be good, and also as Kalara, you can regenerate with your stealth, so on your way over to gold buff, when you steal it, you'll regenerate some more health with that a shadow dance of hers. And then you have improved killing blows, gain 5 bonus gold when killing an enemy minion. This will stack up. You definitely want to get as much gold as we can. This is a very gold-focused color. I think of it, honestly, as a carry deck, uh, and it will it will work so, so well. Some people like to run Intellect on Kalari and just make her level up very, very quicker. Not Intellect, I'm sorry, Knowledge, the, the affinity, not the attribute, Knowledge, to make her level up quicker with Fawn of Experience. But I prefer this because she gets her cards very quick if everything goes well. And she can nuke people very quick if everything goes well. Wealthy, earn 5% increased gold. Again, you see the trend here, guys. You want as much gold as power possible. Excuse me. Lifesteal. 2.5 power, 10% lifesteal. Of course, <laughs> on Kalari, like we said, she's going to be dealing a lot of damage. If you, you know, 10% <laughs> of 1,700 is 170. That's a good bit of health from one hit, so... Uh, yeah, lifesteal, 10% lifesteal, definitely not bad. Piercing basic, basic attacks ignore 30% of enemy basic armor. So again, with this gem, you'll be able to pierce armor. That's how you get to 1700. If you don't have this yet, then you'll probably have about uh, 1500 on your hit, on your super powerful hit. And then you have critical hits. Basic attacks have a 15% chance to deal 75% bonus damage. Now, when I did 1700 damage... I do not rem I do not know if this is what procced it. I have a very hard time believing that that's what procced it because then I went on to do it again, hit another attack, and it was seventeen hundred again. Um, actually, no, that's a lie. No, this is what procced it. So if this procs, you will be able to do seventeen hundred damage. Without this, I believe that the damage was about eight hundred ninety ish. 890-ish. Again, it depends on what the hero is running, how much basic armor they have. It's going to vary, of course. But the point is, you will blow people up with, with this build. I guarantee it. As long as they don't blow you up first. And that's the thing. Kalari, high-risk, high-reward type of character. High-risk, high-reward type of deck. And that is pretty much it, guys. That is how you build Kalari. At least, this is how I build Kalari. You might build her in a different way because that is the beauty of E42. There are so many different options. This is how I built her. This works very, 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 very well for me. Maybe it will work very, 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 very well for you as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If it did help, drop a like, comment, subscribe, all that good, good stuff. And as always, make sure you have a wonderful day, Dad.